morning, good afternoon, good evening. How are you? <laughs> Hoping you're doing well. It's Teshu Anjoguna here in Teshu Anjoguna Vlogs. Guys, thank you so much. Thank you for even choosing to watch my videos. Thank you for your subscription, commenting, liking, all those nice things that come with the subscribing, you know. Thank you so much. And if you haven't subscribed, check down below if it's still red. Then if it's still red then just know that you haven't subscribed and you know guys just uh subscribing commenting is a way to to um it improves my al algor algorithm so guys if you don't mind go ahead and sub subscribe share comment and so on all those nice things yeah and it also encourages encourages interaction when you comment because i can go around uh, you know answering questions that have been asked and so on and so forth so guys i've had questions about um the senior carers i did do a content and that has to be a few months ago but this one is i would say let's recap let's you know do it again so that it it's up to date so okay this is what i want to first start with first i want to start with saying that due to brexit whereby uk came out of the eu then that meant the people that were coming from european countries that is poland germany czech republic and so on some of them chose to go back home and this is because of their own um decision to go back home or the fact that before they didn't need a visa to work here but now they need a working visa and some of them felt they need to leave and so on and so forth and you know that that decision of eaf uk coming out of eu has led to shortage yeah shortage of a uh, of workers in most in most professionals um yeah another thing is because of the pandemic then uh and we, we were meant to you know the vaccination came in and people are supposed to take some professionals people are supposed or are meant to take the vac before they can go to work and they they even put the uh, the deadline up to when you can work after that if you don't have it then you cannot uh, go to work this means it has affected negatively the uh, uh, in lab, uh, it has played a part in sh uh, shortage of labor so anyway because of brexit come 2021 this year the government came up with the tier two the skilled workers visa the health and care workers visa and this to enable them to get more people to come in in the uk and work remember eu then encouraged people from eu to come and work here and it was a bit difficult or it was difficult for people from other countries like uh, africa asia and so on to come in with a visa with a working visa yeah so because there was availability of labor close by that is the neighboring countries and so on so coming here it was it was quite tricky okay so come brexit now the government has created those those opportunities for other people from africa and all over the world to come and work in the uk i don't want to sit here and just say it's that straightforward or it's easy it's not yeah but what is there is there is a work a skilled workers visa and there is a healthcare workers visa so that is the background but what are we looking today today we are looking at senior carers workers senior carers job senior carers job what are you what who are you what do you do in the uk so senior carers job that is um people that work in hospital in elderly um in nursing homes or elderly homes or residential homes to support people that are living with chronic illnesses or people that need a uh, support one-to-one -one support or people that are uh, are elderly yeah so people that have been put in elderly home because of their age that means they cannot stay by themselves 
uh, they cannot they cannot they are not able to wholly uh, look after themselves so they need that support and that's where they go to the elderly so as a senior carer you are going to if you work in the elderly in the uk then you will be a senior carer that means if you're a senior carer you have carers you're a senior carer you have carer here so what is your job so if you're on the shift is to ensure that things are running in the home they call them home a residential home a nursing home an elderly home they are running according to how they're supposed to run and to ensure that uh, uh, infection control there's infection control regulations that are being observed to ensure the safeguarding is being observed to ensure that those people that are being looked after are safe yeah that doesn't mean you won't be on the floor on the floor means that you still have to go on the floor and probably support your carers with the physical part of the job, which is probably uh, feeding, supporting to feed the, the, the people you're looking after, um, supporting them with personal care, and that will be giving them a shower, a bath, or a wash, whichever the case is. That will be your job. Ensuring all the paperwork is up to date, that is your job. So... Where does this job fall on? This job can fall on a uh, health and care workers visa. And what do you need? Yeah, what is, the what is the eligibility? So what you need to do is you need to be in a position that you have, you understand English, you can speak English, you can write it on, uh, you can write in English. So that means you need proof or evidence of English. So that is one thing. The second thing, you need to have um, a certain qualification in so, uh, social health. Yeah, because this is one thing, this is one question that I've been getting a lot. And it's difficult if you don't have a tangible paperwork to show. Yeah, so you might be in a country, for example, you might be in Kenya, Tanzania, India, anywhere you've been volunteering to look after people with chronic illness or you've been volunteering to to support people in hospitals or you've been volunteering all those but you do not have a tangible paperwork yeah so this will be my advice my advice will be since you have the experience which is very very important the thing is immigration will need supporting documents yeah even when your your boss will also need a document show that you're qualified theoretically so what do you do please you need a level like a level three in social health level three yeah so how can you do it look for the course online yeah do it online you can have a lot of them you can have a lot of a uh, this qualification it's not that expensive if you if you really 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 want to come or you're really working towards it or it's your dream then i'm sure you'll be like uh i think i can sacrifice that for my for my future you know so that's one thing you do the course mostly the course is around six months you do your course what is the benefit of that if you do it online and you do it with a uk uh uk um college college the online college or course of blah 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 then you've qualified and your certificate will be like your certificate is known in the uk so you don't have to go through all those changing it with neric or proving it proving that you are it's an equivalent of what they are looking for yeah so say six months at the same time you could be doing your english and your else not months your else you could be doing your else so that it shows your understanding of english your your writing and so on and so forth so those are the things that i would ask if some is something you if you really really want it it's something you can do within the next six months and then you start you know you start the process again if you're in kenya if you're in any country oh the reason why i'm saying kenya because i am i am kenyan but if you're in a country that you did a social health or you did something like close to nursing but it wasn't like a full qualification in nursing and you're waiting to further it ahead or so and so on 
you can, as long as you have the papers, then you have stand a chance to start applying for the job. So when you have your paperwork, what do you do next? You look for a job. Yeah, you look for a job. And how do you do this? Remember, we did even a step by step how you can apply for a job in the UK. And that is through LinkedIn. And remember also uh, people like if um, NHS, that is the National Health Service, you can apply directly because Kenya was put on uh, uh, on Amber list by who? World Health Organization. That means it's better for you to apply for the job directly to the employer. At the so because what they discourage is the middleman in between, which is an agency recruiter. So look for a job. I'm not saying it's easy, but uh, what I'm saying is. If you have the right documents, then you stand a chance. Remember, it's your CV selling you. So when you have your paperwork, then make a CV. Remember, in Google, go to Google, templates that are used in UK. CV does not have to be complicated. Just follow the, the instruction. Make sure your CV sells you. It just shows brief who you are, not how many you are in your family and how many uh, how many jobs you've done and you like let it show what you're capable of what is your strength and so on let it talk about you professionally not you know season mambo mingi you know something that will just catch my if i'm reading if i'm i get your cv it just catches my eye yeah so Remember, you have to be on point on what you're looking for. Because remember, the people that recruit or the people that might come across your CV, they are not carers. Yeah? They're not carers. They are not senior carers or they have nothing to do with social health or health. So they're just, they're their job is to recruit. So there's those boxes that they're ticking. So make sure you are straight on to the point and you have the right paperwork and documents. Yeah, there is no easier way to do this, unfortunately. Yeah, so you can't say, oh, how can I come? I've been looking after after this and so and so and so and so, but I don't have a paperwork. How are you going to prove to the embassy that you can do it? Yes, experience wise, but that's verbal. Remember, in, in immigration, you are not there physically. It's your paperwork that they look at. Yeah. So guys, yeah, if you have any question, please don't hesitate to ask me in all social media. It's Teshua Jogona. And um, there is also my email. If it's something I can answer, I will answer it. Remember, 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 if I say health and health and care workers visa, just go to www.gov.uk. The only information is there. You do not need magic. You do not need extra you do not need to pay anyone. Just Google on your phone. Check what you need. If you have any other question, please don't hesitate. Just ask. And until next time, please stay safe. Be blessed and be kind. I'll meet you. Hapa hapa to at Teshua Jogona Vlogs.